So I'm up a ladder picking blackberries today and I didn't notice it when I walked out but uh Just spoken to my mum and she said she heard a lot of noise from uh, magpies calling, squawking this morning. Anyway, so I put the ladder up and I walked back through the garden the other way and uh, check this out. So I walked up the garden this way through what we call the pond because it fills up with water when it rains. Put the ladder up here, turn round, look the other way. Look at this lot. There's our bird feeder. And this is what the magpies were squawking about. So I don't know if that was cat or fox or uh, big cat. I was kind of hoping the big cat saga had ended after the last round of calling, which was a couple of months ago now. And uh, then this, but it is a village. We are quite close to the country here. I would say I would say that was had by a fox or a tabby cat. We've had a little cat hanging around the garden for the last few days. It's been like stalking in the grass and looking for mice and stuff. And I've gone out and spoken to it a couple of times and it's run off. But uh, a little cat, I wouldn't have thought it would have uh, eaten a whole pigeon, sat there and eaten a whole pigeon. Could be wrong, but it's only a little cat. And it's quite a, quite a big pigeon that would come down every day, every morning for breakfast at our bird feeder. So I don't suppose we'll see him in, be seeing him anymore. But the cat could have, uh, or the fox could have carried off the carcass somewhere else, stored it for um, later food supplies or something. Anyway, not what I expected to see. And poor old mum's going to clean it up now. Well, I'll pick blackberries. All right, guys, stay safe. Keep your eyes open, especially in Sussex, apparently, because the, uh, the wildlife are a bit feisty around here. Right. So watching mum clear that up, just remembered I had a dream, a weird dream about a big cat last night. It looks like it's fox because all the pigeon has been eaten and plucked and that's typical fox uh, or that's typical big cat. I don't think a little tabby cat would have eaten the whole pigeon, plucked it and eaten the whole pigeon or it could have run off with the carcass but anyway. Most likely, I would say, fox or big cat. And mum said she found uh, bits of the pigeon all over the garden, wings and feathers everywhere. So it uh, looks more like fox behaviour to me. But I did have a weird dream about a big cat last night, so I have to keep an open mind on it. Mum said she heard magpies calling, squawking this morning. 
So that's probably when it was. Oh well. We never named the pigeon, he didn't mean that much to us, but we still like to look after our friends around here. So a domestic cat, a tabby cat, that's being fed regularly at home. I don't think they would sit down and eat a whole pigeon. Uh, a big one might, but this one was quite a small one. So to be honest, I don't think it was a cat. I think it's either fox or um, fox or big cat, possibly. But you know the the possibly deal, don't you? Possibly not as well. So it could have been an old pigeon. I saw one up in that tree yesterday that looked distressed and uh, I thought it was because of the hot weather we're having in September. But it could have been old I suppose and if it uh, got on the ground and couldn't fly it would have been easy pickings for a fox. Anyway that's my other theory which is most likely to be honest. And also in my dream the big cat was old strangely enough interestingly enough so i think that was probably what the dream was all about it was probably an old pigeon that uh, was on its last legs to be honest it's been coming here every day for about a year so it doesn't really surprise me there'll be others mate anyway back to more important things That's my little video, thanks very much for watching.